TV handmade. So if you're not like me and literally put out every single Halloween decoration the second the clock hits midnight on October 1st, for those of you normal people out there, I have an easy Halloween pumpkin decorating DIY to get you into the spirit of the holiday. We're going to be making these cool modern chalkboard pumpkins. I'm going to be using fake pumpkins from the craft store for this, but you could definitely do this with real pumpkins as well. Begin by spraying them with chalkboard spray paint and let them dry completely. Now the first one we're going to make isn't actually erasable, so I guess you could spray the pumpkin any color you like. I just really like the matte black of the chalkboard paint. But what we're going to do is cover it in temporary tattoos. Gather a whole bunch of metallic flash tattoos, like these that were designed by Mr. Kate. Cut out one of the tattoos and remove the plastic. Then just like you would put it on your body, stick it to the pumpkin and press it down with a damp paper towel for about 10 to 20 seconds. Remove the backing and you can see that the design has transferred perfectly. Continue doing this with as many tattoos as you like. You could do just a couple big ones in front or you could do a whole bunch of small ones all the way around the pumpkin like I did. I think this looks so cool and so modern but it is so easy to make. Next we're going to be making this trick-or-treat pumpkin. Now I don't know about you guys but I cannot write like that to save my life. So I have a little trick for you. Begin by printing out your design from the computer and cut the words apart. Cover the back of each one with a layer of chalk and you can shake off any of the extra chalk dust. Then tape your first word to the pumpkin with washi tape and use a pencil to trace around the outline of the letters. When you remove the paper, you can see that your design has transferred onto the pumpkin. So now you can use a chalk marker to write your word using that outline as a guide, and it's really forgiving. You can go back and fill in any spots that weren't perfect the first time. Repeat this with the other two words as well. Once those are on there, let it dry completely. I recommend walking away for a good half hour just to be sure you're not smudging your design in the next step. So once it is fully dry, take a dry paper towel and brush away any of the excess chalk dust. And now for one final touch to add a bit of color, I painted the stem with my gold gilding paint. And that's it. Now even those of us who have never quite mastered the art of calligraphy can have beautiful typographic graphic pumpkins as well. And since this one is erasable with a damp paper towel, you could make a new design every week. And finally, if you want something even easier, I'm going to show you how to make a metallic polka dot design. I'm using my chalk marker for the white dots, and then a little trick is to use a Q-tip in your gilding paint for the gold dots. Just go ahead and add as many white and gold dots as you like. I tried to keep it kind of random so they weren't in a specific pattern. And if you don't have a chalk marker or gilding paint, you could definitely also do this with metallic paint pens. And that's all there is to it. I love how this one came out, but I especially love how good all three of them look next to each other. I think they look modern and expensive, but we made them ourselves. So stay tuned for two more DIYs from me this Wednesday and this Friday. And if you want even more Halloween crafts from us here on Handmade, we have an entire playlist for you right down below. For example, you can check out how to make this studded pumpkin from last year, or how to make this gold dipped pumpkin from two years ago, and I think they all look so good together. All right, so be sure to like this video if you liked it, and I will see you guys in just a few days. Bye everyone.